Hey guys, welcome to the studio again for another video. Come on in, make yourself comfortable. When I first started making these videos on bot audio and that sort of thing, a little over a year ago, one of the earlier videos I did was what I thought, I explained what I thought was the best sound card or audio interface for your computer. And that generated a lot of hits, a lot of views, and I got a fair amount of questions on it. And I would like to readdress that topic again a year later and tell you what I think is the best sound card for 2015. Here we are in April, the beginning of April. And in that other video, which you might want to check out, I got into some detail about the hookups and the interfaces and the different types of sound cards. I'm not going to go so much into depth with that, but I just want to cover again what I think is the best sound card. And my opinion hasn't changed from that video and the best sound card really is the sound card that has the features and the items and, and the bells and whistles that you're going to use and will need because basically the sound cards that you can get nowadays and I'm calling a sound card an audio interface I'm using a uh, Steinberg UR44 to 4 channel in out and it can be, like I say, a, a USB, Firewire, Thunderbolt, whatever. Um, but the sound cards that you can get nowadays all sound really very good. Uh, Steinberg just came out with a UR12, I think it is, or UR22. It's just basically a single mic in and a single high impedance in and has no MIDI in out. A very basic sound card, under $100 and that's reported to sound very good basically has the same mic pre as as the ur44 that i'm using right now that this mic is going into and quality isn't an issue in my opinion nowadays so you really need to look for the sound card that has the features that you're going to use so if you're going to need two inputs or four inputs or eight inputs you know plan do some planning and think about what you really need now that said, in the other video, I didn't really get into names or name brands and, and do some name dropping. But I'm just going to briefly cover, if you look in your Sweetwater or catalog or whoever you buy from, Musicians, Friends, Guitar Center, or whatever, um, the upper end sound cards are really going to deliver a good bang for your buck. They're going to be expensive. The RME, the Lynx, uh, the Apollo, and that sort of thing. You're not going to go wrong if you drop a little extra money on getting a good quality sound card. You're going to find just a basically a stereo in out with those sound cards. You're going to start in the seven eight hundred dollar range, but when you start getting into multiple inputs and outputs, you're going to be spending up well into two thousand dollars or more. However, those sound cards you never hear about people having problems with those on the internet, and uh, you know the are having driver issues or. Are, are, are they just basically the units failing now that said I've I, this Steinberg was a modestly priced unit it was in the $300 range I believe yeah, with four ins four outs with MIDI in out and it has worked flawlessly and I think the audio quality is just is fine nobody is really critiqued and said you know I think that's the weak link in your studio you really should upgrade your sound card I don't think that's the case for my particular situations, I found that the four in and four out has is, is, is done me well. Um, I used to do a lot more of recording with full bands and that sort of thing, but now I'm basically doing uh, individual tracks one at a time and, and more of a personal studio a lot of the times or having uh, solo artists come over. And so I don't really need 16 inputs and, and recording a lot of drums and, and, and a full band all at once. So take that into consideration. Now, some of the units that are the mid-price units, uh, I'm going to say the Motu or some of the Focusrite or, or some of those might be a little bit more mid-priced, and those certainly are fine units. I think basically anything that you're going to see that's advertised in the magazines or, at, at, like I say, I like to deal with Sweetwater. They've always done me uh, very well. Anything that they're going to advertise and sell is really going to have a track record. If they're having problems with it, they're going to yank it out of their out of their inventory what they sell. So look for the features that you want. That's That's the number one thing, and I think, that's what's going to make you 
uh, glad that that's what you got because if you buy a sound card that you find down the line, boy, I wish I had another set of stereo inputs. Um, that's going to be your main gripe. It's not going to be that, well, the quality, the audio quality isn't good enough. Anyway, kind of an unexciting video, I imagine, but I really uh, wanted to readdress this again a year later it's, and, and try to keep this current and, again, just reemphasize the quality is already there. You know, we're, we're lucky to be uh, be able to have the resources and, and tools available to us nowadays that, that we can get, and they're not expensive, but look for the features. That's it, guys. Another uh, video that uh, I'm sure has uh, put somebody to sleep, and, but maybe it's hopefully answered some questions for those that like to stay current. We'll check you out in the next video, guys. Talk to you later.